Nestled deep within Worcestershire's Malvern Hills lies the factory for a car maker like no other. Morgan has been making sports cars for well over a hundred years now, and many of the crafting techniques remain unchanged to this day. In 2020 though, the historic brand reinvented its model lineup with the all new Plus 4 and Plus 6 models. At the time, Morgan described it as the most revolutionary advancement in the model's history, with only 3% of the parts being carried over from the old one. That might seem odd at first. After all, this so-called new car looks pretty much identical to the original version launched 70 years ago. It also still uses ash in the frame to shape the body, and it's still hand-built by craftsmen in the same shed in Malvern Link. And now for 2023, Morgan has updated it. For a company that's only had a handful of different models in more than a hundred years of car building, an update just two years after a model's release is unprecedented. Morgan then, weirdly, is keeping up with the times. We say that, but the Plus models still look gloriously old-fashioned. What's lurking beneath the evocative coachwork, however, is anything but. The platform is bonded aluminium, and the engines are from BMW. The Plus 6 shares its motor with the Z4 and Supra no less, and is considerably lighter than both of them. The first updates for the new year are found in the suspension. Morgan wants the new cars to be more refined and compliant. To achieve this, they fitted new dampers and bushes designed to improve ride quality as well as high speed handling. And to help you stay on the straight and narrow, Morgan has fitted something called stability control. Now, to us, that doesn't sound especially high tech or impressive, but this is the first time a Morgan has ever been fitted with an electronic driving assist, and it can even be adjusted with different driving modes. While hell is freezing over and pigs are flying, Morgan has well and truly entered the 20th century with what can only be described as a safety feature. Behind the beautiful new dashboard, more on that later, Morgan has installed actual airbags with another one lurking in the steering wheel. A more traditional safety enhancement is the new set of brakes. Developed alongside Continental and AP Racing, the new stoppers complete the technical makeover. Moving on to the interior and to the aforementioned dashboard. It's now made from superformed aluminium and incorporates a new bigger digital display ahead of the driver. The dials have been redesigned as has the centre console, which is now available with a variety of different wood veneers. There are also some new fabric trim options with new seats and an optional Sennheiser sound system, all in the name of making the Morgan a usable everyday car. Under the bonnet, things haven't changed. There are still two engine options, the Plus 4's turbocharged 2.0-litre four-cylinder, the same one you'll find in the entry-level Toyota Supra, and the Plus 6's meaty six-cylinder engine, also from BMW. The Plus 4 weighs just over a tonne and produces 255 brake horsepower. As a result, it will manage the 0-62 sprint in 5.2 seconds. The Plus 6, though, is something of a departure from Morgan's traditional format. Gone is the V8 of its predecessors, with the BMW straight 6 taking its place. It makes the same 355 brake horsepower as it does in the Z4 and Supra, and its lightweight means that it's quicker than both of those hitting 62 from rest in just 4.2 seconds, onto a mildly alarming top speed of 165. The new Morgan Plus models go on sale in January, and look set to be future-proofed for another decade. <laughs>